and uh, away we go. I'm on my I'm on my broom. Hi guys, how's it going? Hello everybody, this is Ursus Icebinder here. Hi, how you doing? And we're back with the Witchery Mod Showcase. Random. And today we're going to be do I'm going to be showing you how to make your flying broomstick. Now, yeah, the last time I was going to try and finish this and show you guys exactly how to make a flying broomstick. Unfortunately, some of the ingredients I didn't have, so luckily because everybody's a team sport here on this server, we're all helping each other out trying to get rid of the taint on the Hubris server because the taint in the overworld is just it's it's completely covered. So the only way to live is to either be in a twilight forest or be able to live at least a few blocks above above the uh, actual level, ground level, like making a sky base or something in the overworld that's above the tank so it doesn't get corrupted. You know, the last video I showed you how to make the redstone soup, which we did in green and step by step. And uh, because of all the potions that I have, I was able to get a potion of swiftness, so I didn't have to worry about making it. But I will later on show you how to make your own potions if you don't know basic Minecraft, how to make uh, how to make potions. Um, in the book that we need in order to make this, uh, flying ointment for the uh, dis uh, distillery? No, in the kettle, I'm sorry, the kettle. Uh, you need the redstone soup, which we have. The stone, uh, the potion of swiftness, eight. It has to be eight, which we do have. We have diamond, we have a feather, wool of bat, which is what I was missing, and a belladonna flower, plus you need 3,000 of the altar power. Now, I've explained this many times in my other previous videos and stuff like that, but this is pretty much up to date, and, be, and on top of that, this is server side. So things are going to be a little bit different and a little bit uh, complex. Now, the redstone soup is one of my most prized joys of making. It is the hardest thing you could do. It's best to do it while you have your witch's gear on, so that way you can, it, can, it has the chances of doubling. So, we're going to start adding these ingredients in. Uh-oh. Okay, we got to go and get... I forgot to get a... Uh, a bottle. We need a bottle. And what you do is you come over here. And there's your bottle. Alright. Now we have the flying ointment, which is another very expensive ingredient in order to make the flying broomstick. Now, remember I told you about... Yep, that, uh, that happened. Uh, remember I told you how to... Why did I do that? I need that there. I don't want that there. Alright, you need a flying broom. Make sure you have a regular witch's broom and the flying ointment. Both are most very expensive ingredients. Now the witch's circle. Very important. These books are very important to keep because you need to be able to cast down. Now what we need is a 7x7 seven seven and 11x11. Eleven eleven. Remember the chalk that I made and I told you about and everything? You're going to need the white chalk for making the white ritual circle. The other world, the other wear chalk in order to make the other wear circles. And then the infernal chalk for making the infernal circles. Well, this one I made the doubles, which is this one right here. And then if you, I'm going to show you how to pick it up and how to set it down. Uh, you're going to need one of these. And then, uh... Cast it down, it's just right here. This is going to go blank, so you now have a talisman to be able to use to pick up your uh, ritual circle. That's what I put down. I do this outline like this, so that way I know exactly what I need and what and what uh, uh, how big my circles need to be. It helps me a lot, and it kind of does a little decoration. Like the outside is for infernal, the end is for the other world, and the this inner ring is for the irregular, and this is just the golden chalk for casting. All right, what you want to do is while standing in here, and you have both rings, and make sure you have the seven by seven and eleven by eleven. This is eleven by eleven. This is seven by seven. This is the fifteen by fifteen, 
Make sure you have 7x7 seven seven and 11x11. Eleven eleven. And what you want to do is you want to throw in your ointment and your broom. And then hit this little knob right here. This will make your flying broomstick. And make sure that your altar has the power to recover. And that is how you do it. Now, you want to pick up this so that way you don't have to worry about wasting chalk and making more ritual circles. You want to put take one redstone, your talisman, place it down, hit that button, and it will pick it right back up. And I'll save it for next time. That's how you get that done. Now I have my own flying tool. I can now actually feel like a witch. Flying around, actually flying on a broom. This is my tool. If I want another one, which I hope and pray that, uh, you know, when I go on adventures and stuff, I'm going to make me a ender bag so that way I can put this sucker in there and I'll have my ender chest so in case I lose it, I'll have my witch enchanted broomstick in there. All my importances are going to be in my own personal chest. The golden backpack is just there for looks. Uh, that's going to be for later. All right. But, uh, yeah, the enchanted broom. Let's, uh, let's give this baby a whirl. We'll set this thing down. Go right on top, like this. Just like we do with the other stuff. And, uh, away we go. I'm on my, I'm on my broom. Hi, guys. How's it going? But, uh, yeah. We got stuff going. We can, we can travel now. We can actually travel. It's gonna, it's gonna be great. Wow. Um, okay, so, okay, just like the other one, it's all about guidance, and this one seems to be faster than the other one, so, we just gotta be careful on how we steer here. Alright. Alright. So, press shift to get off of it. Now, let's, let's go back over here. And, uh, there's no stop. <laughs> there's no stop! <laughs> Alright, and then you hit it once. Oh, okay, you hit it several times, and now you'll be able to pick up your enchanted broomstick. It's not like the other one where you can shift click. But, uh, you might be able to. I don't think I've done that yet. Can you shift click? Nope. Nope. Nope, you actually have to hit it a few times. My broom has you have to hit it a few times. Alright, anyways... That's how you make the enchanted broomstick. If this was a short video, I apologize. But that's mainly what I wanted to try and do is show you how you make your broomstick and how to set down your ritual circles. Eventually, we're going to have familiars. Eventually, we're going to have so many other stuff. I wanted to be able to, uh, I wanted to be able to, uh, do this for you guys so you guys understand what you need to do. And uh, we're going to get more into the advanced witchery. We just need to get more ingredients, be able to try and get things going a little bit more. Uh, a lot of it's going to be on camera. There might be very few, like I did with the ritual circles. What you do with the chalk is the way I got these rings. You got to go all the way around. And once you do that, you can pick it up with that redstone and a talisman. Make sure you have enough talismans to pick up your circles. I've had about 16 on me. And, uh, I think that was 16, or is it 13? Uh, I don't know. I, there's nine, there's nine right there, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so 14. Uh, you need about 14 talismans total. That's all you actually really need. And, uh, make sure, you're going to be making a lot of chalk. And then make sure you have backup in case something happens, like, you know, you accidentally hit a rune or something. An axe can actually break the runes faster. Just an FYI. But yeah, if you guys like this comment, I accidentally hit the uh, wrong button. If you guys like this commentary, ah! if you guys like this commentary, slap that like button, subscribe to my channel, and maybe you can see this idiot right over here. Yeah, that's me talking to me, uh, doing stupid stuff. If you guys like watching stupid stuff like me, and doing random. Stupid stuff like pressing buttons and falling off buildings and killing myself and all that good stuff. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Thank you guys so much. You guys take care. Goodbye.